Um, first of all, um, let me just talk a little bit about here. Um, I feel like some of you are going to be having some very, very tremendous, strong attraction to another person and I feel like it's in in the workplace okay so it's in um, it could be like a client I'm sensing it could also show up as somebody that you're collaborating with somebody that could even be managing you or bringing in clients for you or is like a representative that um, that speaks on your behalf so I feel like there is a very very strong sense of like being attracted to being pulled and being uh, really smitten by another person. So I feel like it's sh uh, showing up here as a very, very um, solid relationship that can be formed from this. But for those of you who are, you know, attached and you're you're not in a position where you can pursue this, I feel like it's going to be posing as a temptation for you, a source of temptation. And I don't feel it being confined to just, you know, d the end of December. I feel like it's going to drag on into uh, 2018 as well. So this is um, something I want you to be a little bit careful of, about because I feel like you're not feeding into it. And then even for those of you who are single, you're also anticipating the consequences. You know, you're thinking like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm professionally linked up with this person. I don't want to ruin that professional connection or I don't want to ruin my reputation, or I don't want to things to get weird. And so you're approaching this in a very methodical manner, and you're not jumping the gun, you're not jumping right in, you're not rushing in. So I feel like some of you, even if you're single and you, you have this really strong attraction to another person, you're not jumping the gun, which is good. So I feel like you want to sit with this and you want to mull it over and I feel like not only are you physically attracted to the other person, there's this sense of like kindred spirit, like emotionally, you have a really strong connection. You agree with each other and there might be some opposition in the work environment where somebody is like uh, wanting to be a contrarian and then you and the other person, you're so much alike that you agree with each other, you give each other emotional support and you're kind of like... <clears throat> in alliance with each other against the third party. So I feel like there's a sense of camaraderie that is really rare. It's very exciting. And it's almost like you're finding your, your, your other half. Um, so just be careful and, you know, approach it with a professional, um, approach it with a, in a very professional manner and don't do anything that you would regret. Okay. On top of that, what I also feel as well is uh, there's a message here about, um, and I, I feel like it's in it's in uh, like a continuation of this situation. It's saying long term gains versus short term pleasure. Okay, and when I heard that, I didn't really associate it with kind of like temptation and love and and lust and infatuation. I was thinking more in terms of like, it could be, but I was thinking more in terms of don't think about a quick financial payout. Think about long-term gains. So that means if everybody is just telling you, you know, let's get involved into this one uh, kind of risky financial venture and everyone is trying to pull out and you're just like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen. You know, if I, I should follow suit. And I feel like actually you might want to rethink it okay so we're talking about investment opportunities here and this is not my area of expertise so you need to consult you know your financial advisor you need to consult whoever it is that's handling your uh, resources handling your investment portfolios okay but i feel like there are some long-term things that you want to look into when it comes to money when it comes to your projects when it comes to your investment because i feel like you're better off waiting it out so that's the message i'm getting you're better off taking the safe route you're better off with the status quo <coughs> excuse me and you're better off uh keep as you were like keeping as you were rather than you know doing a 180 change of direction because i don't feel that that's going to bode well for you and i'm getting as well a message here to really um you know getting enough rest getting enough r and r 
um, getting enough just time to yourself so that you're not influenced by other people as to what they want when they want to get together and so I feel like it is going to be a the next two weeks will be very very busy and so taking t enough time to yourself it's going to be necessary okay uh, family demands family expectations of course it's the holiday season but I don't see any problems any snags in the road that is associated with that that's coming in I just feel like for those in relationships relationships will really flourish and blossom there will be um communication breakthroughs and I not that you're having trouble before but I feel like there's going to be a lot more agreements there's going to be a lot more consensus there's going to be things that are pushed through because everyone is on the same page or everyone is going to you know overcome their differences and just be on the same page so rounding out this year I feel like you're heading into 2018 with a lot more I want to say um, with a lot more harmony in your step okay so it's gonna help already as we transition into um, 2018 so 2018 is a number two year and a lot of it is uh, the energy is all about you know making connections um, making connections and also finding luck through other people and you know as a dual sign I feel like for a lot of dual signs uh, the energy of 2017 was very very disruptive it's kind of like you know me against the world in 2017 for dual signs and for you and for Pisces especially and so 2018 the energy is softer it is calmer you're not going to feel like you're up against everybody you're not going to feel like all eyes are on you will you float or will you sink you're going to feel this harmonious energy where people want to cooperate where people are just like let's not fight anymore let's just you know kiss and make up and let's just um in the spirit of camaraderie let's just agree to disagree or let's just you know find the optimal best solution so i feel like you have a, a easing up of tension and you have like a de-escalation as well so because of that, what I feel is um, the major theme for you in 2018 is to really do things by the book, okay? And um, whatever, whatever adversity you have to overcome in 2017, I feel like it revealed to you your strength, but it also tremendously revealed to you your weaknesses, where am I, you know, not really uh, strong in? What areas, uh, what part of knowledge am I kind of uh, shaky in? Admitting where we excel and then admitting where we can do a little bit more work, where we can do a little bit more studying, we can do a little bit more learning, or we, where we can really strengthen up. Um, I feel like that's really important for 2018. So 2018, the energy is, you know, uh, relying on other people so that you can expand your knowledge. Uh, finding, you know, people that are able to approach things in a more, I want to say, they're, they're not so biased that they only see things from their perspective, but they're like well-rounded. They can, you know, play devil's advocate. They can provide you with a holistic piece of the puzzle. They can provide you with both sides of the coins. And so you're going to come into uh, opportunities where you meet people like that. And it's also urging you to be a little bit more dualistic, but to also, you know, really figuring out, you know, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? And if I have weaknesses, what can I do to fortify these these things and make them into strengths okay like what can i do to mitigate them what can i do to enhance them or what can i do to compensate in a healthy way so 2018 um for you guys i i feel that it's also a year of you know learning and self-improvement and at the same time it's like really being honest with ourselves and figuring out that okay, what, what can you realistically learn from other people who are experts in their field? What can you take away from everybody around you? Like, um, they're there for a reason and they're very ta uh, logical and everyone is, you know, the, the year of opposition is over. Now everyone is um, wanting to 
work and build things. So let's not be contrarian. Let's try to, you know, be diplomatic. Let's try to be harmonious and let's just try to get our hands dirty and work and build things. So I feel like team building, um, I feel like that sense of camaraderie, that sense of harmony with the people that you're around, try to maintain that. That's going to be the crucial uh, challenge for 2018. So I feel like it's really in your best interest to kind of like not take the lead and let others kind of step up. OK, um, I hope the, the messages resonate and I hope it is uh, helpful for you guys.